Hi, I'm Katrina, one of the speech and language therapists in the Brothers of Charity Ireland Southern Region. Doing homeschooling with our kids during lockdown is certainly a challenge and I think it's important to keep in mind the idea of quality over quantity. So it's better to do a short session where everyone's paying attention and feeling okay and able to take on information rather than a long session where people start to feel stressed or upset. Even though we as parents might have it in our minds that we're going to have a short session and we might even communicate to them and say, look, we're just going to do a little bit. The child or young person might find it very difficult to predict exactly how long the session is going to be. And they might feel disinclined to get started in case they're stuck there for the rest of their lives. So it would be a good idea to use some visuals maybe to give them some clear expectation. Something simple like a first then schedule can be of benefit even to kids who've got really good language. Um, you might want to add a little picture if you think your child would benefit from that. So as you can see it's first work or whatever you want to call it and then whatever's going to be happening next. So maybe you're hanging out the clothes or whatever it is you've got planned. Even with this expectation though kids can still find it difficult to imagine how long the work is going to take. So you might want to break it down a little bit further. If you think about the steps of the work, you might want to make a tick chart schedule. It's not necessary necess necessarily to write out what each step is going to be, but just have the numbers and tick it off as you go along. It's very satisfying. And then they can see that when this is done, work is finished and it's time to go and hang out the clothes. Another example of this would be if you broke down the steps of the work into Lego blocks and after each step, the child or young person can put the Lego together um, and they'll see that when the Lego tower is built, the work is finished and you're done for the day. Another variety of this would be to get a container with some clothes pegs. And again, after every step of work, you or the child can push a clothes peg around the edge of the container until all the clothes pegs are around the container. It's empty and the work is clearly finished. Or a final example would be to get some items from around the house, whatever you might find. Put a container at the other side of the room and after each step, ask the young person to go and, go and put the item into the container or throw it, at the con throw it into the container. Um, and again, when all of the items are over there in the container and nothing is left here on the table, it's very clear that work is finished. I hope those ideas help you to support your young people to, mot to get motivated to do their homework. Just keep in mind that even if they're having a really good day and their attention is amazing and they're flying through the work, you shouldn't add on extra work. You should stick to your word because it's very important that they learn to trust something like this and if we start adding on bits in the end, they'll think, sure, what's the point? I can't trust it. So no matter how many steps you've said you're going to do, make sure to stick to that. If by step two or three, you notice the young person is losing attention and they're getting a little bit fed up, just acknowledge that with them. So you can say, oh, look, I see you're tired now. I think you need a break soon. I'll help you fly through the last one. And even if you have to do it, to be honest, it doesn't matter. You do it, tick it off, and then it's all done. You've completed the schedule and you can finish up. And then the next day you might think to yourself, maybe I'll only give them three steps because when I gave them four steps yesterday, it was a little bit too much. So in this way, with by using the visuals consistently and by judging what's best for your child, you'll get into a routine. Thanks, bye.